Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden. I am Loki. Daniel Collard. And I wanted to basically try to bridge a gap in our understandings now that I've had enough time for my mind to recontract and remember the people that I've encountered. Your prognosia is due to using an icer on somebody named Kyle Dickey, which was me, at a farmhouse in the middle of nowhere in the United States. And you used it in the presence of mirrors. And out of the corner of your eyes, even if that's not what you're focused on, those mirrors have your face in it. So, what you did was you burned part of your own self out of your own mind in a fractal, I believe is the way to say it. Because at that location, on the walls were mirrors hanging on opposite sides. And anyway, um, I just thought I'd mention that uh, so it could possibly help you out. Now, the people that were there were Queen Sylvia, who I would like to thank for assisting me. Now, I kept on dropping my wand, but not before I split it, to try to balance leading my people, which is what I'm all about. Nothing can stop me from saving my people. I keep on trying. And of the other people that were there, Daniel Westling, which I think is weird, uh, and then also uh, Carl Phillip, uh, which he seemed like a really nice guy. Um, he didn't talk very much, which um, could have helped me with understanding who everyone was and what was going on, um, because it was very confusing. And I just wanted to say uh, that I don't mean any ill will, even though I caused embarrassment for your family, but I am what I am, and I didn't go to Sweden, I guess is the, uh, at, at, at the, you know, finality of, um, uh, me and my little broken family, my people, the young pioneers, formerly of the Soviet Union, and your monarchy. I've pieced together a little bit of an understanding of the history and where things have led to today and the use of a wand and my matrix of leadership. This is symbolic uh, of the group that I'm essentially uh, being apprenticed to lead. So, just know that I'm the new thing. 
and I don't mean any ill will, but I've had a lot of terrible things happen to me. And later on, I will show you generally what I intend for my people so you understand more about me, which was not available when you all came to visit. I believe that you'll find, Crown Princess Victoria, my interest in Neom as a intermediary place. There are other people who have interest in me choosing to go to their country. Like, I only have one choice. And if I choose this, then everyone lo else loses. And years ago, uh, you chose to be my first girlfriend, so I wanted to make sure that I gave you an offering as well. This place is an intermediary place. It's new. The rules haven't been written, and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and is a absolute monarchy. And they are creating this place so that people can come together in an international city. A new concept which is starting to emerge in other uh, parts of the world as well. But this is very clearly defined, unlike everywhere else. And years ago, King Carl, in his attempt to ambush me with the Chosen One, made me say bad things about the Dutch monarchy. And I had no feelings uh, like that. And so, if... Queen Margaret is listening, I apologize, but I was not myself. I was puppeted at that time. And if you accept my terms, then you will be able to get a space doorway. And then Disney will become truly magical in its way that it connects the world. Now that seems a little strange, but so am I. And the technology, as Queen Margaret knows, is very real. just as her kingdom understands the wand. But it's all Greek to me. That being said, I'd like to move back to leading my people. Now, there is some people who do know that I am essentially the fire, or the Merlin. But the Merlin isn't just known for the names for which you, Crown Princess Victoria, take me for. Just as I was puppeted at that time, but in a more warped way due to experimentation 
with mind transference technology from the Soviet Union. And unfortunately, King Carl's tampering with my mind in order to get my space doorway. But I'm willing to, as I have mentioned many times, do peace deals with King Carl. So, one of the things that I'm known for as the Merlin is opening up a space doorway, or portals. More specifically in this case, going from a use only by heads of state of this space doorway to opening up town portals. Town portals will make people's use of the space doorway a positive thing for the world. But of course this has to be done carefully. But I am the one who has restricted it to head of state use only. And I am G.I. Joe. The other thing that Merlin is known for is bringing back the dead. What was once lost that everyone thought would never reappear again. Some say via a space doorway. In the Middle East, there is a vying for me. And that is why I bring you back to what we were talking about earlier, Neom, or Neom, in Saudi Arabia. There is an interest by certain people in Saudi Arabia with Greek history and a twin city-state concept, I believe, but I could be mistaken. And the fire of learning, if you will, which is one of the things that has attracted me to the concept of Neo, on top of it being an international city where different groups of people can come together. And I believe this is an excellent place for a town portal. But that doesn't really matter if Crown Princess Victoria has her own personal space doorway. And as an actual magical princess can visit some of my people at any given time as a actual, an actual magical princess walking through a magic doorway. It will help them to know that they aren't discarded trash. Now, I can't just deal with King Carl because of what he has done to me in the past and the terrible thing of the Livgard dying was apparently necessary in order for them to consider accepting any sort of peace dealing with your royal family and King Carl. Just because I wanted it to just go unhindered didn't mean that it was going to go that way. But once you're in control of a space doorway for personal use, I don't think any of that will matter because wounds can be healed in time.
and with unlimited time and space at your command, I believe that that healing can begin considering what I've experienced is far beyond the loss of one special person. Looking back at Queen Margaret of Denmark, I was considering asylum with Queen Margaret in exchange for helping me with my wanding to make sure that my people all understood that my movements were all meant to be a healing movement. And many, because they are upset over past transgressions, not just from King Carl, but from other peoples as well, um, have begun to lash out. And I can't simply just tell them no, because they don't have respect for me. Mainly due to my lack of understanding of the programming of nursery as a child and growing up just feeling hurt by all the things that were done to make me into the commander while being badgered by everybody who wanted our treasure And then, of course, at a certain point, I came to the realization that my purpose to protect the treasure no longer existed because it was stolen, or so to speak. But now, there exists an opportunity to rectify that situation. Someone has been helping me in the shadows, if you will, who is also in the spotlight. And I wanted to introduce this person. Prince Harry of the United Kingdom, or Great Britain. Different people call it different things, but you know what I mean. And he is essentially an ally of me, also referred to as Baba Yag. He has put considerable effort into helping me when no one else believed in me that I could be something more than a monster. And not only that, I was a child. So, a monstrous child. But he stuck by me. and has continued to this day to help me out. Prince Harry is worth talking to about Merlin, or Merlina, me. I put out a little while ago a call to all the other 
young pioneer nurseries around the world for help because of what the United States government has been doing to my people for a very long time. I'm not going to get into the details. You'll be able to figure it out pretty quick. I don't even know if all of these are still operating, but I do know that there are a number that still are, and they have heard me, and they're not too particularly happy with how I've been doing things or what I've done. But they're willing to help me out and help the rest of my people out, as long as I'm willing to do the right thing, which of course I am. And I just wanted to give a brief introduction to the scope of who and what it is you're interacting with. This is a place that I actually was, which was the Branch Davidian compound, Waco, Texas. Out of those ashes came me, and I had an ancient stone used on me with the Chosen One. And then I got really unlucky afterwards. But. I had mind transference technology pioneered by the evil Cobra Commander, as in the Soviet Cobra Commander. And out of this, I think I can develop a thing that saves a person's soul, if you will, but only with the help of King Carl. I believe that our 1980s level technology can be refined and instead of just getting a copy or an image burn of somebody and their mind and their memories we can get the whole soul that way if somebody were to perish in a terrible accident if we had our rescue people from Cobra nearby we could use our technology to grab them and give them a second chance in a new body and be born again you may not know this, but many of my people are devout Christians. And you might think it weird that I'm converting to be a Muslim. But this goes back to, once again, Naom in Saudi Arabia. But in order to connect my people, we look at... a net we look at another technology. Cobra airships that can be used in a number of different ways. This looks fanciful and impossible, at least when it was floating around the internet. But now exists the technology to make something like a luxury cruise ship in the air a reality. And it can also be used to build and go anywhere, coupled with Cobra's space doorway and microwave phasercraft technology 
I think that you could understand that an interaction with me could be quite wondrous. <laughs>